Oh, how's everybody doing today? Keith had to uh, stop at the Duke station, so I thought, well, I'll stop here and turn on the camera. Chit chat a little bit for y'all. Yeah, the, my daughter and son in law, they left today. They spent the weekend at the uh, clubhouse. We had a couple friends with them from Fort Bragg that came along with them. They went up and looked at. They came up and. Uh, what? There's two girls in there. I act strictly business with one of them. The other one just flirt like hell with her. <laughs> but, uh. <laughs> Anyway, as I was saying, uh, yeah, they the daughter's into haunted houses and stuff on Halloween and all this and that, so uh, my daughter, my daughter and son-in-law was with their friends from Fort Bragg and they was all planning on going to Florida. And uh, the daughter and son-in-law told him, said, well, we'd like to and everything. We'd like to go do that. I said, but, you know, for the housing and stuff, to stay there for a weekend, it's going to cost them <laughs> about $1,000. And she, they thought, well, we ain't got $1,000 just to blow. So they went ahead and daughter says called me up said could we use the clubhouse I said sure you know come on up so the four of them came up to the clubhouse to uh, spend the weekend you know just a place to stay and went around Canton Akron and stuff like that looking at these uh, haunted houses and stuff people have out and for the season you know and they was doing that, and they enjoy going out to eat and stuff, and just to have a little weekend off base away from the place. Which to me, it's still, I don't know, it seems like an awful long way to drive just for a weekend, but hey, you know, break the monotony, break the monotony. So anyway, they just left. So... Oh, we're just out for a little ride. It is chilly this morning. It's down in the low 40s. So, Keith's really in a hurry, I think, because his knuckles, he said, are cold. He didn't have any gloves with him. But, uh, you know, whatever. Well, that's about all I got to say. I don't know. I gotta turn on this road now. This is on Lincoln Avenue, in case you uh, want to find my place, Lincoln Avenue here. Uh, yeah. Well, I heard some more, watched some videos this morning, seen some people talking about the uh, PVC. Yeah, you know, it, I, I really enjoy and appreciate people talking about the PVC, and I really, really hope a lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot of people join this year in the PVC, and, uh, because, you know, me and Keith, we, we really need some competition, because, you know, there's no competition in, in, in the PVC, of course, you know, they say it's a challenge for oneself, but, you know, that's not fun, that's not fun, so I, I am doing a challenge for myself, I do every year, I will be doing a PVC again, and I do have a challenge for myself to set and the goal to reach. Uh, but it's none of your business what it is. It's mine, not yours. But we will probably hand out awards again because we're just we're just that crazy, you know. We like to turn little challenges for oneself into personal gains and, and stuff like that. 
<laughs> so, uh, yeah, oh, it's warm in here. They, I uh, brought them a case, case of apples. Oh, look here, we got some of them left. They didn't need them all. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to cut off now, and so we'll catch y'all later, and y'all have a fun time, whatever. Bye.